What's up, guys? It is Jack and Jeff from MachineHunter.com. Jeff, we're doing a five facts. This is a new version of five facts. This is over just a character. Oh, right. This, this is, is uh, Nico Bellic. Good old Nico Bellic. From uh, GTA 4. And, uh, yeah, so let's see how this goes. All right. You know, obviously he was in GTA 4. Has he been in any DLC or anything like that? I think it's really uh, just no, that. They, they showed his face in uh, the Lost in the Damn DLC, I think. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if one of the facts is he blew it with Rockstar. Yeah, that was the thing. Like, he pissed off the the guys because yeah. he wanted more money for uh, for being a character, right? And yeah. Then, and then his cousin... Because uh, he, he was the star of the show. Yeah, then his cousin came in and made fun of him for it and all yeah. that stuff. Anyway, or the guy who played his cousin, I guess. All right, so let's try this. Number one, Nico's appearances are based off Sasha's character from the 2001 movie Behind Enemy Lines. Okay. Uh, bonus fact, Vladimir Mashkov, who plays Sasha in the film, was approached by Rockstar to play a character in one of their games. The actor said no. No, not knowing at the time he had turned down a truly iconic voice acting Dumbass. opportunity. Double fo- bonus fact, you can even buy Sasha, Sasha's... Da, 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 da. Double bonus fact, I you can even talk. buy Sasha's outfit in the game. There you go! Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I can't words good this morning. Uh, that's funny. So yeah, Sasha that's, that's is from uh, Behind Enemy Lines, hmm. and I guess you can buy his outfit. Neat. I never saw that movie. Number two, the pager ringtone found on Nico's phone is actually the pager sound effect from Grand Theft Auto 3. What? I did not know that. Wow. That is an interesting fact. Uh, (laughs) Number three, Nico's iconic fingerless gloves that were shown in a lot of promotional materials or were not actually in the game initially. They can be added via modding, though, as they are still in the game's files. Hmm. Huh. I remember seeing that, like that crazy glove. It looks like a, I don't know, like a golfing glove or something. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, number, Fascinating. Number four, <laughs> according to his LCPD record, Nico was first arrested in 2008 for Grand Theft Auto. This is a reference to GTA 4 and its year of release. What? That's, that's, what do you, where do you see Nico's file? Or his uh, record? Well, you can pull, a, you can steal a cop car and then you can go through and like look at criminals and stuff. Oh, really? So you can probably look him up there. Oh, that's interesting. All right, and last but not least, number five, in an episode of the TV show Criminal Minds, that's the one that Joel was yeah, on, yeah. Uh, Nico is referenced directly as a child reportedly named Nico Bellic Goes Missing. What? Wow. That's interesting. That is funny. I so if they he, ever found him. He is canon in the world of Criminal Minds. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of interesting. This is kind of a cool take. I, like, I'd like to see some more characters. What, what characters would you like to see done in Five Facts, Jeff? Uh, oh, gosh. Let's see. Where do I start? Uh, Where Master do you start, Chief. Obviously, uh, I'd like to see uh, maybe somebody that's not quite as famous, like uh, Luis Lopez. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, I like to see like like Guile or something. Guile like that. would be interesting. Yeah, Isaac Clark. Isaac Clark. Ooh, that'd be that'd be a really good one. Actually, yeah. you should do that one next, Franco. Nuke Dukem. Nuke Dukem. Me- <laughs> <laughs> Took me a second there. What's, All right, that's five facts. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.